Okay, gentlemen, we are back, and Hungary is in the way of our final victory. So we need to... <laughs> Sir, United Kingdom, Iraq, France, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, South Africa, Nepal, Bhutan, Yemen, o Oman, Republic of Spain, Norway, Denmark, Belgium, Netherlands, and Luxembourg have declared war on Hungary. Let that sink in for a little while. <laughs> You're like... Like, Hungary just shit their pants so bad that, like, it landed on Romania. I don't even know how to... I, like, I, don't, I literally don't even know how to explain that in, like, game terms. Like, okay, yeah, they just shit their pants big time. Okay, so we need to push to Pex. We need to take this territory, and we need to take the capital here so we will send an additional unit here to the capital um, we will attack in there and we will immediately switch in there so let's begin dun, 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 dun. <laughs> that was quick did anyone time that did anyone time that yeah that, that was real quick okay so hungry is our bitch and we have all the oil that Hungary has gained. We have all the resources Hungary has, has amassed. And we're just going to invade Romania because they sided with the wrong people. Oh, yes, our carriers are done. Our carriers are done. Ding, fries are done. Ding, fries are done. Ding, fries are done. <laughs> no, I don't work at a ding, fries are done. Oh god, I would probably actually for real kill myself if I worked at a ding, fries are done location. Seriously, that would be like worst fucking nightmare. <laughs> like, oh, ding, fries are done, ding, fries are done. Yeah, no, I would probably fucking kill myself. That'd be like super, super, you know, just d depression. Like ultra, you know, d depression mode would be like instant, like set in. Alright, so we're going to bring our newfound ships over here. Um, where's the closest place? Yeah, gosh. Um, I could use the, use the Mediterranean to land them in Yugoslavia, but... Because we don't even own Yugoslav... What the fuck are they? Magic fucking carriers. Yes! <laughs> Let's watch this. Do... Dude, yep, magic carriers. Magic carriers. Okay. The home fleet. Okay, let's bring these units down here. Okay, 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 okay. Smoke them, boys. Alright, let's turn on this. We only need to really take this province, this province here. We need to press on and take these and we press to the enemy's capital and we'll bring up reinforcements just because America but besides that there's really no point um yeah alright it's working that's the awesome thing about victory point view is that you can see exactly what you need to capture the or to annex the enemy's country and once you have those uh, territories there's nothing really that the enemy can even do I mean they literally have to, you know, just accept it, so. Do, 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 this is what you get for, for taking out a power that's so much more powerful than what you are. Okay, so, Romania has lost. Anyone else want a piece of this, of this sweet action? Okay. Perimeter defense doctrine, the French are going to give that to us. Um, all right, supermarine. Industry rocket engine. I need practical turbojet engine to work on our planes. So there is that. Um, we're up on. We're really up on uh, oil. Uh, let's see here. What do we need? Aircraft assembly line. Not really. Not not really. Unfortunately. Um, land doctrine. Elastic defense is going about as good as it can go. Uh, let's. That's another really, really late one. That's another really, really, really late one right there. Um, it couldn't hurt to get the uh, Naval Task Force Doctrine here. Actually, let's see here. 
we now have the Nazi tech teams, so let's put Eric Ryder in charge of that. So we have the literally the two best tech teams, or the two best um, nations tech teams it, in our pocket. We have a bright future. <laughs> okay, let's move these over to here. Because I'm not just going to ask Yugoslavia to, you know, join up with us, brother. Yeah, see, they're going to say it's 0%. I mean, it, seriously, like, if, 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 if I saw the United Kingdom that had uh, that much fucking territory, I'd be like, hey, can... Can we ally you? You seem pretty buff. You know, that's in you know, that would, you know, be a, a major bonus to, you know, our national security. But, you know, well, whatever. Alright, let's place these out. Let's pause. I'm gonna skip the placement. Okay, we placed those units. They're on their way to England, or not to England, but uh to Europe. And we are literally going to roll up Yugoslavia and smoke it like a J, because this is going to go very, very quick. Oh look, there's one infantry left. Okay. Australia will give us the basic, basic Marines division. I like it. Another. Okay, after we declare war on Yugos, Wolfsburg is, is revolting. They have a, they have a city named, named Wolfsburg? That's awesome! Okay. Hey, guess what? I just parked a bunch of tanks on their little revolution. Suck it! Okay. Let's declare war on the Yugoslavs. Tank. Tank, tank, you. Tank, you. Tank, you. Tank, you. Tank, you. Okay. That should go exactly as I just set it to go right there. Tanks, 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 tanks. Tanks, 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 tanks. Tanks, 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 tanks. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Tanks, tanks, tanks. Like I, I like I just want to like set set all of this up and then just watch it play out because this is going to be hilarious. Moving in. Moving in, moving in, moving in, moving in. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. In we go. We'll double we'll just double those units up. Give her the old looparoo. That kind of looks like a dong, but... Ah, oh, God. I need to get my head, head out of the gutter. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do it. Hands off the keyboard. Take that, Yugo Slutia. <laughs> Alright, there we go. <laughs> Take that, Yugo Slavia. You ain't got shit on us. <laughs> all right all right there's still a couple of uh, um, attacks left to be made wow dude they never even can we just annex them like like right now yeah we can okay time it time it Come on, time. I didn't time that. I'm gonna have to go back and fucking watch that because that was fucking sick. That was way, way funny. <laughs> okay, let's get some uh, production going on here. The Anglo-Iranian Oil Company is going to be working on that. Um, now let's bring troops over here to surround to surround Bulgaria. Bring them to alliance. Invite them. They're like, no, we just saw what Yugoslavia happened, and, you know, we're, we're feeling pretty brave. I mean, to be fair, Italy declared war on Greece. More power to you, I don't care. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. All right. The girlfriend and I spending the the, uh, the weekend together. Do 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 do. Um. Should be complicated, son. Well, not really complicated, but still kind of complicated. Like nothing's wrong. It's just, well, I think she's pregnant, but that's just me. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure she is, but she's like, I don't want to be pregnant. I'm like, well, guess what? L too, well, like too late. Um, do, 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 land doctrine, elastic defense. Now we have Heinz Gudarian, who's going to take over for our, uh, for our research and stuff like that. Let's give our, let's make advanced tanks. We'll give them to, to Porsche. They will begin working on the A-34 Comet, making the Cromwell ob obsolete. Okay. So yeah. I think I'm going to be a dad. I'm thinking so. I'm like, I'm like a hundred percent sure that it's mine too. <laughs> okay, the great pa the great pacifier passes away. Neville Chamberlain is no longer available. Thank God. Churchill, get in here. We need you. We need you more than well, almost as much as Heinz Good Heinz Gudarian. Okay. Who's in charge now? Winston Churchill. Ooh, yeah. Clapping, clapping, clapping. Okay. We are a p paternal ar aristocrat. The aristocrats, damn it. I would totally tell that joke, but it would get it but the video would get taken down so quick. <laughs> well, actually, now that I think about it, it might not get taken down. I don't know though. Okay, let's go back into the Diplomacy, Chief of Staff. Um, let's make Sir Sir Alan Brook in charge of things. It's because he gives us a bonus to our manpower, which is what we desperately need right now, considering we are preparing to invade the Soviet Union, or over the long term, we're going to be pre preparing for a Soviet Union invasion. So let's do another one here. Um, we'll say... November 29th, we decided to d declare war on Bulgaria. So, yeah, let's time this baby out. Time this baby out. Where are the important things? Okay, we're just going to send this straight in. Send straight in. Send her in. Okay, that's not important. That is, well, that's pretty self-explanatory all right let's go invasion it's like star wars episode one invasion there is no proof actually dude there's so much fucking proof there's so much proof that the uh trade federation you know blockaded and tried to fuck with uh naboo for one the video of um of uh R2-D2, you know, repairing the ship while obviously being fired at with uh, Trade Trade Federation battleships in the fucking background. Dude, there's so much proof that the, that the uh, Trade Federation was you know, doing some, doing fucked up shit. Like, I'm shocked that, that, that they didn't just, like, whip out, like, records and say, well, look, dude, here, like, dude, look, here it is. I am like shocked, but you know, for the sake of the of the story and for the movie, you know, it is what it is. So our tech teams are almost all nines working on stuff because um, we would need Isoroku Yamamoto from Japan to make that carrier task force thing a nine. Uh, secret breakthrough: electronic c computers. Okay. Now that we are at at peace again, I'm going to build up some manpower. And then we're going to invade the Soviet Union. Actually, I could just use, like, a manpower cheat, but... I mean, that'd just be dumb. 
Because there's a manpower cheat that'll give you 5,000 manpower. So anytime that I see like a Let's Play or somebody with somebody having over 5,000 manpower, and I mean, obviously, like if, if they're nationalist fucking China, then, you know, who happens to be getting fucked up right now. But um, yeah, like if they're playing as like nationalist China, I mean, I expect them to be, you know, having that like amazing amount of, you know, manpower. But I mean, if they're playing as like, England, and they're like, oh, well, I have 7,000 manpower. I'm like, dude, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Like, it, it would literally take us the more than the entire game to build up uh, 8,000 manpower. It would take, like, more than 20 years um, in-game. And even then, we, we would only have, like, I don't know, maybe three or 4,000. Okay, Supermarine has developed the rocket engine. That's exactly what we need. All right, industrial, let's see here. Let's get the turbojet engine. Who is good with rockets? I'm guessing one of the Nazis is gonna be, yep, Messerschmitt. Messerschmitt's phenomenal. Okay, Messerschmitt and Supermarine working for the same, for the same nation. We're, we're a little bit OP now, son. Okay, let us, hmm, I, I I kind of want to build nukes, but I kind of don't, just because, you know, the game is going to end in five years, and that should be enough time for us to crush out the Soviet Union. It should be. It should be. Okay. Um, I totally want to do National Socialists U United Kingdom, and I can fucking get there in a few more bounces of this. Like, it, by 1944, I should be National Socialist. Which is going to be a very odd, you know, ending to Britain. <laughs> National Socialist Britain. Ah, very good. Very good. Okay. So, long story short, the Russians have a bajillion infantry. True story. Unfortunately. Okay. I almost want to declare war on the Italians, but that's just going to get annoying when they, uh... Yeah, that's just going to get super, super, super annoying. I might just leave them alone. I mean, they're not hurting anything, but if I get backstabbed in the middle of the British Operation Bar uh, Barbarossa, it's going to suck. But I think I'm going to take that chance. Alright, let's get the early ho hospital system down. Uh, who is really good at doing the hospital system? Dudley Clark's not too bad. Eric Manstein. There we go. I'm trying to get like all all nines working on my stuff just because they it's such a night and day difference. Okay. Do do do. All right. I'm kind of hungry. I should go and make some food, but. I kind of want to whoop, whoop the shit out of the Soviet Union first. And if I don't kick the shit out of the Soviet Union first, I'm going to forget what forget exactly what I'm doing. So, there is that. Of course, I might just take out Italy and then let France, you know, take them out. France and, France and uh, Britain. Or France and Spain. As a matter of fact, I might just, just do that. Yeah. I think, I'm, I think that I'm going to do that. Okay. Let's pause. It took me a little while to figure out what I wanted to actually do, but I got it all figured out. Okay, those units are down there. That's where I need... Actually, no, I need them over, over here. Okay. Let's put this unit over here. Uh, we'll move this unit over here just because, you know, it's it's where I want it to be. This one is going to be over here, poised to invade Venice. This many troops is going to lock down the Italian peninsula real quick. Okay, we'll put some more guys over there. Well, no, we put tanks over there. That's going to mop up anything that they brought in there. So we will bring these units over here and we will de deploy them. That looks like a spider there, don't it? Heinz Gudarian has has researched the Kampfgruppe doctrine. 
Heinz Gudarian research the fire brigade fire fire brigade makes regular infantry more expensive but motorized and uh self-propelled arties cheaper and is a very very good um it's like it's kind of a side blitzkrieg thing but it focuses on you know having mechanized units at the heart of any real um blitzkrieg offensive Whereas previously, you know, they just, you know, attack, 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 you know, and don't stop. But with this, it actually starts to bring motorized units and mechanized units to the heart of the rapid um, advance. Okay. What is that, like 15 units? This is three army corps. I think that's wrong. But it is what it is. Okay. Alright, let us build Japan Annex Nationalist China. Very, very nice, very nice. Alright, let's build Mo Tanks. Mo Tanks. There we go. We Oddly enough, we have enough industry for that, which surprises me, but pleases me too. Okay, Belgium, what could you offer us? Aircraft assembly line. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Alright. Even with most of, of the world's resources, we cannot maintain our current level of industry. Uh, huh. Let's research flying bombs. Basically, we're researching v, uh, v, V1 rockets now. Hmm. Japan, I really want to ally with you. I don't know why. You know what? I... I really hate doing this, but I've never played a game with the United Kingdom and Britain allied to each, to each other, so I know that I'm going to I'm going to re regret this one in in the comments section, but I've never done it. So, thank you. Join me, bitch. Okay. Japan has agreed to join our military alliance because I fucking say so. Okay, there we go. Now, <laughs> Okay, that, that that was cheap. I should not have just done that in a Let's Play, but whatever. It's What is done is done, and holy shit, I just realized something. That's going to put us directly at odds with the U United States. So, I mean, it's kind of balances out, but kind of not. All right, well, let's just attack Italy now. I'm really, like, regretting that because, you know, this is supposed to be, like, a, a LP, but, I mean, I... I know that, that there's that, you know, huge, like, anti-using cheats in, in LPs, but, I mean, I'm just doing this because I, I, I want to have, have fun, and, I mean, having fun in this is, you know, it's good enough for, for me, and, you know, I'm, I'm the one doing it, so, I mean, I know I shouldn't be, you know, justifying, you know, using cheats in, in a Let's Play, but, eh, I'm doing it because I enjoy myself. Okay, so I'm leaving the remains of that to France in the, uh, in the south, I'm, I'm just going to say. So we'll move that down. We'll move this over here. Um, I forgot to tag, to tag all, all, all of these up. Uh, tag, 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 tag. And that will hold down most of most of the Italians. Um, the French will be pressing into you know these regions, but I, I can give them Libya because Libya I think gives them. Let's let's actually check. Let's let's literally check. Um, uh, I'm seeing no resources, no factories. It gives you nothing. Yeah, they can have it. They can have it. I didn't even see that give, giving even a single resource point, so they can have it. They can have it. They can have it. Okay. We are stupidly just swarming these guys and crushing them. <laughs> it's like Clen it's like Clend Clendathu all, all over again. Okay. 
There we go. Alright, we have now take to Toronto. Casino. Alright, and with the Japanese on our backs, we are the un unrivaled naval air and everything superpower in, in the world. The only thing that could even possibly um, con uh, contest us would be the United States, which, um, unless the Japanese pull Pearl, Pearl Harbor out of their hats, I'm not really too concerned about. Um, they might still try to pull pull Pearl Harbor, but I'm not 100%. So, yeah, this is the first United Kingdom that I've ever actually allied with the, with, with the Japanese.